Hi there, welcome to today's video. Today's video, we're stopping off at one of the biggest chains in the country, Holiday Inn. The Holiday Inn Express, which is the cheaper version of Holiday Inn. The difference is, you maybe don't have a swimming pool, etc., but you have breakfast included. So this is why a family of our size comes here. Now, you will remember that in Folkestone, we actually visited a Holiday Inn Express. So we're going to see today if there's any differences, if it's unique in any way, and what is it like. So come join me, see what it's all about. Holiday Inn Express Burnley is just next to the M65 in Lancashire, Burnley. Fantastic place for a starting point for places. So, what have we got here in the Holiday Inn Express? Well, you've got your hairdryer, you've got an iron and an ironing board. If you want a cuppa, you're sorted. More than suitable hangers. Uh, there's a towel down there. And apart from the TV, the bed and the double bed, Quite a pleasable place. Just have a look in the bathroom. Reasonable shower. Big enough and looks clean enough. Glass door on this. So it can be nice and clean and everything. Easy to clean. I think if we went to the one in Folkestone, they had a cloth door which looked a bit stained. Got your water, taps, cups, charging points. And then the door for the bathroom also turns into the toilet door. So you shut one and the shower room is, if I step outside, totally open. But go to the toilet, close the toilet door. Typical wet room. One thing I do like with these, if you forget something when you go to Holiday Inn Express, they provide it for you, which is always helpful. But a very pleasant room. Breakfast is tomorrow between 7 and 10, so we'll have some of that and see what it's like. One thing I found a little bit unusual is the fact that half the tables are sat next to settees. So you're eating on a settee. Fine if you're an adult, but for kids, it's a little bit more difficult to control them. As I said, there were other tables, but at busy times, you couldn't get to them. However, it is comfortable to be sat at a settee while we've sat round. I mean, fair enough, Thomas has got a little tablet to watch, which uh, nowadays is pretty much a common thing with uh, younger children, something to entertain them. But in actual fact, he was able to concentrate on his food quite well. When it came to the breakfast selection, it was near enough the same. Um, yeah, you've got your toast that you just saw. What I did notice was we came down nearer peak time and there was a lot less in there, but they did keep replenishing them. So as we're looking at there, the sausage, the bacon, the eggs, the hash browns, the uh, beans, they were replenished as we kept going round. You've obviously got your cornflakes, etc., cereals. What I did notice was a difference is when it came to the actual yogurts, they were in little tubs as opposed to being on their own as one complete unit, as you can see here. Just as tasty and probably the exact same stuff, but I don't know why, but I, I preferred it at Folkestone when the... Uh, was a big lump of it there to get at. An actual fact, that's probably a lot cleaner and safer doing it in a tub like that. And it was just as tasty and went down just as quick. 
with regard to the sausage, bacon, eggs, beans, not wrong with them. You can go back as often as you want, top it up. Apple juice, orange juice, teas, coffees. I think there was even hot chocolate there, if I remember rightly. But there's plenty of it. So there's nothing stopping you having yogurt, cereal, full English, uh, toast, drinks left, right and centre, because it's just there for you to get as much as you want. Great if you're off out on a, a long trip. And as you can see, if you eat as fast as I can, <laughs> obviously I've speeded up the film a little bit there for you. There was actually muffins and bits and pieces to eat afterwards as well. Croissants, as you'll see in a minute. Thomas explains it very wonderfully for you. Overall, I would say that the meal's no different. The setup in the restaurant area, Folkestone, very, very straightforward setup tables for it. But this with the sofas just didn't feel right. It was comfortable, nothing wrong with it, but just didn't feel right. But apart from that, Food's fine. Something well worth uh, considering if you're going to be staying in the area and just want one night stop somewhere. This is a croissant. Croissant. So that was us last night and this morning enjoying the benefits of Holiday Inn Express. What did you think to it? Have you been there before? Let us know. But in the meantime, hit that subscribe button. Cost you absolutely nothing. And there's the next video. I'll see you on that.